Hello guys, the Condition here, and this is basically a follow-up on my videos regarding the maximum likelihood estimator. And in this video, I want to go through two two examples. So the question is right here: find the most likelihood as es maximum likelihood estimators for theta based on a random sample of size n for the following PDFs. So the first maximum likelihood estimator I will be estimating theta for this probability density function right here, and for the second example, I will use this probability density function right here. Well, now if you haven't seen my first uh, video, please watch this, uh, watch that one first. And in my last video, we have derived that these two steps will be the steps to get the maximum likelihood estimator. So let's get right into the first example and start with question A. And the first step is to derive the <coughs> the likelihood function. So let's go ahead and just derive the likelihood function, uh, which was defined as the product from i equals 1 till n of the individual probability density functions which in this case is equal to theta times x raised to the power theta minus 1 which will just be equal to theta does not depend on x so we can get it out of this the product and this will be xi raised to the power theta minus 1. And if you remember from my last video, basically this likelihood function tells us how likely is it that we will generate these data points right here for a certain value of theta. And obviously we want to find the value of theta that will maximize that likelihood. So this is what we will do right now. So we will get go to step number 2 and that is maximize the likelihood function. And to do this, we will need to take uh, the first and second derivative because, as you can see, the probability density function is just differentiable. So, what we will first do is calculate the natural log of the likelihood function because this will make it easier, easier to di differentiate. And as you know, the value of theta that maximizes the natural log of the likelihood function will also maximize the normal likelihood function. I've explained this in my previous video. So let's go ahead and write out this function right here, which is uh, equal to the natural log of theta raised to the n power times the product from i equals 1 till n of xi raised to the power theta minus 1. And of course, you guys know the natural log uh, rules. So we can split this right here and put a plus in between, and we can get the n out of the natural log. So this will be equal to n times the natural log of theta plus uh, the natural log of from the product from i equals 1 till n of xi raised to the power theta minus 1 and of course we can simplify this way further as well because we can get the theta minus 1 we can get it in front of the natural log and as you guys know this will just be xi x1 times x2 etc till xn so we can this will be changed into a summation and if you guys want a further explanation on why that is or you want me to write it out i will do so at the end of the video for you and now we will uh, go ahead and calculate the first derivative so the first derivative of the natural log of the likelihood function with respect to theta will be equal to n divided by theta plus and as you can see here this is just theta times this and the minus one of course will just uh, disappear because if we di differentiate that with respect to theta it will just be zero so this will be equal to the sum from i equals one till n from the natural log of xi and later we will set this equal to zero but we will first uh, go ahead and check for the second order condition and we will need to see if the second derivative uh, is smaller than zero because that will mean that we will have a maximum so this will be equal to minus n divided by theta squared and of course this will just be zero and as you can see this will be smaller than zero for every value of theta bigger than zero actually it will of course be uh, smaller than zero for every possible value of theta well, except, except zero of course 
and this means that we can set this equal to zero and if we do this we will just get theta theta equals minus n divided by the sum from i equals 1 till n from the natural log of x i so this is it guys for this for the first probability density function this will be our most likelihood estimator and it's very important ch that you check for the second order condition otherwise it's not we don't know for sure if it's a maximum or not so let's go ahead and go to the second example right now okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the second example here we have this probability density function and let's take a look at the steps again first we will derive the likelihood function which of course just again will just be equal to the product from i equals 1 till n of the probability density function and this will be equal to the product from i equals 1 till n from theta plus 1 times xi raised to the power theta minus theta minus 2 and of course we can get the theta plus 1 uh, in front of the product because it does not depend on xi so this is raised to the power n and of course we will have the product from i equals 1 to n of xi raised to the power minus theta minus 2 please note guys that this of course is a small x and not a random variable anymore because this likelihood function tells us how likely is it to generate these data points uh, for a certain theta and of course we want to find the value of theta that maximizes that likelihood that we will find these data points so these are small axes guys then we go we'll go ahead and uh, actually find the value of theta that maximizes this function and as you guys can see this function is just differentiable so first we will take the natural log of the likelihood function because as you guys know this will not change the value of uh, theta that maximizes the likelihood function as I have explained in my previous video as well so this will be equal to the natural log of theta plus 1 raised to the power n times, this times the product from i equals 1 till n of xi raised to the power minus theta minus 2 and of course you guys know the rules for the natural log so this will be equal to n times the natural log from theta plus 1 plus uh, minus theta minus 2 times the sum from i equals 1 till n from the natural log of xi and please remember if you if you don't understand this step right here I will explain it at the end of the video and now we can go ahead and take the first derivative with respect to theta of the natural log likelihood function and this will be equal to n divided by theta plus 1 and as you guys can see here is a minus and this minus 2 times this will just of course disappear because if we uh, differentiate with respect to theta it will be 0 so this will be equal to minus and theta will be 1 so this will be equal to minus the sum from i equals 1 till n from the natural log of xi now we will I will first uh, calculate the second derivative for you guys so we can actually see if there is a maximum or not and the second derivative with respect to theta of the natural log uh, likelihood function will be equal to minus n divided by theta plus 1 squared and of course this second uh, term here will just uh, be zero and as you guys can see this will be zero for every possible value of theta that is bigger than zero and of course it will actually be bigger than zero for every possible value of theta of course uh, except minus one of course and uh, now if we set we can set this equal to zero to find the maximum value to find a value of theta that maximizes the natural log likelihood function and we will get that theta is equal to n divided 
by the sum from i equals 1 till n from the natural log of xi minus 1. So guys, this is our maximum likelihood estimator for our second example. Please note the steps again, guys. Let's do a very quick recap. We derived the, li the, the likelihood function, which is always this. It's just standard. Then we take the natural log, then we take the natural log, but please be careful if it's differentiable. If it's not differentiable, I will make a separate video about this. Uh, if it's differentiable, just take the natural log uh, because this will make it easier to differentiate. Um, check if the second order condition holds, and then we can, of course, find the maximum. Then, of course, we can find the value of theta that maximizes the likelihood function by setting the first derivative equal to zero. So. I hope you, uh, you guys enjoyed this video and please stay tuned if you want to know uh, why this term here equals this. So of course as promised I will tell you write the natural log of the product from i equals 1 till n of xi will equal this, will equal the sum from i equals 1 till n of the natural log of xi. That is because this part right here is just equal to the natural log of x1 times x2 times xn which of course will be equal to the natural log from x1 plus the natural log from xn and this is of course equal to the sum from i equals 1 till n from the natural log of xi so there you have it guys have a nice day bye bye